All right, guys. Um, so today is a mail call. Um, and mainly I'm doing this today because I'm having difficulty editing the next video. And I need a little bit, I'm buying some time. But I needed to do this mail call anyway. Actually, um, I've gotten quite a bit of mail lately. Thank you. You guys are amazeballs. Several mails have come in. Um, some I was expecting and some I definitely was not. So thank you guys so much. Um, so let's get started. I'm not going to have a big old long intro. Just gonna get, we're going to get right to it. Um, so this first one here, I believe is from Todd with One Seed One World. I know, I know. Seed mail's the best. Okay, here we go. Yep, here we go. Very nice, look at this. I'm like letterhead. All right, Todd, okay. Okay, so it says, hi, Nicole. Enclosed are a couple of packets of Scarlet Runner beans and a packet of Lutz and Shower Paprika seeds. I hope they germinate and grow well for you. I've really enjoyed watching your YouTube channel. I hope you have great success in your garden this year, and hopefully these Scarlet Runner beans will help you get a larger bean crop this year. Happy planting. Sincerely, Todd. Thank you so much, Todd. So excited. So excited. I'm going to tell you, I love me some Scarlet Runner beans because I'm trying to get more color, more climbers. I need more. Okay. I need more in this garden. I want this garden to be more beautiful. <laughs> that's awesome. My gosh, that's a lot, a lot of Lutz and Shower. Thank you. That's a shower of Lutz and Shower. And Scarlet Runner beans. I know. I'm so excited about it. Let me put these back in the bag up. Thank you so much, Todd. Um, you guys, go head over to Todd's channel, One Seed, One World. It's amazing. Okay. It's a great channel. Good content. Good guy. Okay. Go do it. Go. Thank you so much. All right. Next. Deanna. Hi. Deanna, all these people I mentioned today are just the best people ever, okay? Y'all get over there and support them because they're maze balls. We have seeds. Seed mail. Hands down is the best mail. Okay, just saying. Just saying. Um, okay. First off is some black salvia. This is from a seed swap in 2023. Black salvia. Look that up. Next, a grappoli di inverno tomato. It's a long keeper. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, Deanna. It's a long keeper tomato. Uh, that's from a seed swap, twenty twenty four. Uh, next from Deanna is a straw flower. Ooh, king size orange from Baker Creek, twenty twenty four. Next is a Tempete Disabled Tomato. Another long keeper. Oh, thank you. I don't know why I have weird accents right now, but I'm just. <gasps> and next is a Pinello de Vesuvio Tomato Long Keeper. Deanna. You just hooked me up with three long keeper tomatoes. Thank you. Thank you. I love you very much. Okay. All right. So that is from Deanna. These garden adventures. Okay. You grow row. You grow. This is from You Grow Row. Jiminy Christmas, my brain. I don't know. I know. Also doesn't help that I ran out of wine and I'm having vodka. Okay. Crazy little concoction I just made up. It's delicious. It's delicious. Okay. I'm going to tell you. It is my Roselle jam, okay? J jam, yeah, I said that. Jam out of the fridge that you put on toast. Roselle jam, vodka, lime juice, and strawberry bubbly. Freaking delicious. Mm. Mm. 
Anyway, I'm on my second one. This video could go sideways. I have no idea. No idea. Anyway. It says, enjoy the seeds. Bro. I'm so excited about it. Oh my gosh, you use Granger. I use Granger at my job too. Okay. A little bit of bubble wrap to protect the precious seeds. Seeds are precious. You got to protect them in the mail. Okay. This uh, first packet is a micro dwarf called Heartbreaker. Find Love these micro tomatoes. And then we have, oh, another micro dwarf here. Hold on with the pronunciation. Gewürzge, Gewürzgen, there's a Gewürztraminer wine. It's very sweet. Hold on. Gewürzgen Wunder, Gewürzgen Wunder. I was born in Germany, but I can't speak it to save my life. Gewürzgen Wunder. Micro dwarf, okay. And then we have <laughs> this one's easier ink spot micro dwarf, yay! And the cutest sticker ever. Sometimes I wet my pants, <laughs> it happens, it happens, especially at my age. <laughs> Ro, you're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hmm, this next one, yeah, let's get this open. Okay. <gasps> what? There's so many seeds in here. There's so many seeds in here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's so many seeds in here. Hold on. Hold on. I need to know who this is. Hold, let me check my emails. Hold on. Bees and seeds. Bees and seeds. Out for the life of me. I could not remember when I saw the envelope and the last name in the city. I couldn't. Another fantastic channel. Y'all get over to Bees and Seas. I'm sure most of you are already subscribed, but if you're not, get over there. She's maze balls. And I'm going to move in with her one day because they don't have hot, sweaty summers. They don't even have barely warm summers. I'm so jealous. They are on like this really cool climate, like on the West Coast, where it barely gets to 80 degrees in the summer. And that sounds amazing. Thank you so much, my friend, for these seeds. Let me show everyone what they are. So, we have a tomato called Dwarf Stony Brook Speckled. I know, I've never heard of that one. I'm about to look it up. 80 days. We have a dwarf called Eagle Smiley. 60 days. And these are from a Victory Seeds. This is so fun. Another tomato dwarf called Dwarf Snakebite. 80 days and then a dwarf Kodiak King and then oh ho, 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 we got a little let's drop that we have a little blue cream berries one of my favorites I love blue cream berries because here in hot sweaty brutal just excruciatingly uncomfortable Southeast Gulf Coast, Texas, just north of Houston. This blue cream berries, year before last, kept producing. Kept producing. Okay. Highly recommend if you're in a hot, sweaty, stupid area like Gulf Coast, Texas, blue cream berries. Okay. Go get you some. Um, also, we have a cherry tomato called orange cherry simple simple as that orange cherry um and bees and seeds says thank you so much nicole i added a couple that are not dwarf they sound sound enough to share <laughs> thank you very much i love trading with y'all and i know everyone i know it takes me forever <laughs> if i'm trading with you or if I promise to send you something, it takes me more than two minutes and I apologize. Okay. 
Lately, I've just been going through things. Okay. It's not my normal MO, but it's turning into my normal MO. I promise you, I endeavor to be better. Okay. Also, last few days, my hair has been cooperating. Okay, humidity's been low. Oh, Jen Joy. I love Jen Joy. Okay. Love her videos. Love her as a person. So much love. Love, love, love. And I do believe I won some seeds on a live. And that's what this is. How pretty is that card? The card's gorgeous. Wait a minute. I didn't win all that. I, did I? Hi, Nicole. Congrats on being one of my giveaway winners. I hope you will have a fantastic 2024 gardening year. I hope you like the varieties I picked out for you. Thanks for being such a great friend. Enjoy. I mean, I'm not gushing as I read that. I'm not gushing. <laughs> so, we have... Mm -mm. Hold on. We have mushroom basket. Okay. We have, oh, purple Russian. Mm. This is a six ounce, three to four inch purplish plum, meaty, flavorful, and productive. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Boxcar Willy. I think I was going to order some. I've never had Boxcar Willy. Oh, that's fun. 2023 unbagged. I think I know what that means. I think that means the blooms were not isolated or something. Anyway, that's cool. I don't take it. Oh, and then a Rutgers Select from 2022. Ooh, what is this? Der Klein Doctor Black Cherry. 80 days regular leaf indeterminate. Look at how many seeds. There's 12,000 seeds in there. Thank you. Um, and oh, large barred boar. Oh, that's fun. Large barred boar. Um, and then I have a mini bell tomato, 2023 micro dwarf. Mini bell. I'm so obsessed with these micro dwarfs. 18 inches tall. Oh, red. I don't know who you can hear. Bell is snoring. Anyway, I have plan nine. Plan nine from outer space is a striped PY slicer, mid-season regular leaf indeterminate. That sounds fun. That sounds so fun. And then we have a cherry tomato Isis candy. And then last is a black shadow RL or RC indeterminate 2023, not bagged. That one right there. I am so tomato rich. I am rich in tomato seeds from where I started this time last year to now. Like it has multiplied 20, 30 times. Thank you. Okay, now I need to show you this. That's Bella. She's snoring. I know. <laughs> Funny. Okay. So next. Do 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 do. Oh. Aww. This is from my friend Elizabeth. She writes the best letter. I mean, it's just full of love. It's just full of love. I've met the best people in the world because of YouTube. So I just want to say thank you to Elizabeth and to everyone. I love you guys. This just means the world to me. Thank you for such a sweet card. Anyway, okay. I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Um okay so two more envelopes here and then I have um this this piece of paper with seeds taped to it. This is when uh, Nina and Boyce came over a couple weeks ago when we filmed. Um, oh, gosh. Go to, go to their channel, Rooted in Texas. Go to Rooted in Texas. Go subscribe. 
go like comment share all those things rooted in texas they came and interviewed me <laughs> i'm ridiculous okay they asked some awesome and important and pressing and pertinent questions you know but then when we got to you know what's your favorite movie or whatever i'm bringing up dumb stuff like porkies <laughs> and risky business which I had no business watching when I was a child. Like, what's your favorite childhood movie? I don't know, Porky. <laughs> Explains a lot about me as an adult, okay? I wasn't supposed to be watching it. Okay, my parents left the house. And we had VCR, and I'm... Pop that in there. Okay? I'm 50 years old now, so I can say it. Mom, when y'all left the house, I was watching Porky's and Risky Business. Anyway, it was the 80s. It's fine. So, while they were here that day, we did a little seed swap. And I'm going to show you the seeds that I got from Nina and Boyce. Some black goji berry. That's exciting. Um, I got some atomic purple gomfrina. I got some chocolate cherry sunflower. Japanese eggplant called millionaire hybrid. Uh, a korbachi pepper a uh, blue beauty tomato i'm gonna have to do that next year black strawberry tomato next year i'm tomatoed at boxcar willie for the second time this mail call uh kajari melon because my kajari melon seeds that i have did great for cc uh cynthia over at cc's texas garden didn't do crap for me mm -mm. they don't like they don't like my garden so I thought, let me get a little bit of different seed stock. Let me get a little bit of different genetics. Maybe it'll jive better with what I have going on here. Oh, did I wake you up, Bill? And <laughs> you're like, you're so funny. Speaking of. Mm -hmm. Vodka and lime, both very tart, very tart. Anyway, I, I do have to go to work tomorrow. I need to knock it off. Mm. Oh my god. That's delicious. Sart Relay tomato. And I did get some. Um, I do have a seedling up there from Rebecca at Little Foot Range. Thank you so much. But I thought I would just go ahead and restock. Restock for next year. Uh Red Torch Tithonia. I should probably get that started. I still have time for that. I got one sangria watermelon. It is March. It's March 27th. I think now's a good time to actually start that watermelon because watermelon actually does transplant. Don't listen to what they tell you. You could transplant cucumbers, squash, um, watermelon. All those things that they say they don't like their roots to serve and don't do it. You can. You can. Be careful. Don't let it get root bound and then try to transplant it. But you can. All right. Next. Uh, Sunset Dwarf Sunflower. And then some sunflowers from uh, Grace and Fire from that seed swap. I used mine that I got last year and the squirrels took most of them and ate them. Oh, anyway. Um, so... Uh, Nina had some, so I, I took a few more. I took four more because these are giant. Look how giant those sunflowers are. They're going to, the seeds are giant. So you mean, so you, you mean, you know, and that's been drinking. So, you know, the flower head's large. With a seed that large, the flower head is really large. So that's exciting. Anyway, these are the seeds I got in a seed swap from Nina and Boyce. Now, these last two envelopes are from Canada and they arrived the same day. How weird is that? That I get two pieces of mail from Canada the same day. And I'm gonna tell you, all these have come in in like in the last two weeks. I've never got so much seed love at one time in my life. And I just wanna thank you guys. And if I owe you seeds, I'm pretty sure they're on the way already. I'm gonna do better. I'm sorry. I was going through things. 
I promise you, I feel like I, I just had like a, an episode, like a depression episode where I literally couldn't function. I couldn't film. I couldn't mail people seeds out. I couldn't act right at work. <laughs> I'm lucky to still have a job. I was so mean is not the right word, but I just wasn't having it from nobody and I let them know about it. And that's not normally how I operate. Normally, even though I'm a Scorpio, okay? Even though I'm a Scorpio, I used to be a very docile Scorpio. Menopause just had me acting fool. I'm like, I don't care about you, your feelings, nothing. My mom raised me better, I promise. Anyway, this is my first Canadian envelope. It's from Gracie. Well, her sweet puppy's name is Gracie. Her name is Faye. This is from Faye. So y'all need to go, um, y'all need to go follow Gracie's Home and Garden. Wonderful channel. Oh, I got some seed meal. I sent Gracie some seeds and she returned some seeds. And I want to tell you that is just the prettiest card. That's the prettiest card. How precious. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Faye. Now, what see? Whoa! We got seeds. I'm like a seed trillionaire, okay? I feel like a seed trillionaire. I feel excessively, overly, like grotesquely, obscenely obs blessed with seeds. Thank you. Let's keep growing and sharing. You are amazing. You're more amazing, Faye. Hello. Um, dear Nicole, I'm so grateful for the seeds you shared to me. I have never received any mail from YouTube friend. You are so sweet and fun. You have an amazing heart too. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. All right. So this first one here. <gasps> Are these like birdhouse gourds? Are these gourds? <gasps> Those look like gourds, like birdhouse gourds. What are they? <gasps> what are they? Let's see what's written on the piece of paper. <gasps> oh, this is Sicilian zucchini <gasps> collected from her plant. It can go five feet long. The zucchini? The zucchini can go five feet long and needs a trellis or arbor, full sun. What? It is actually zucchini season right now. These look like gourds though. I guess if you eat it young, if it's a big gourd and you eat it young, kind of like, um, kind of like, um, lufa. Okay. If you eat it when it's like this long, it tastes just like a zucchini. It's delicious. I highly recommend, highly recommend y'all eat your young loofahs, okay? Well, we're definitely going to add that to the list to start this weekend, okay? This weekend, it's Easter weekend this weekend. Got a three-day weekend. Totally going to be starting some seeds and planting things out. Next. Oh, this is a hot pepper. And you gave me five hundred thousand seeds thank you of a hot pepper kind of hot pepper i don't know hold on hold on this is gonna be a long video i apologize guys but i'm still trying to edit another one from last weekend where i'm planting my peppers thai hot pepper harvested from my plant growing indoors oh that's right you do grow a lot of stuff indoors so it's a thai hot pepper <laughs> a tomato called Tumbling Tom Yellow Hybrid matures in 45 days. <gasps> Golden Yellow Lupins. I have mixed success with lupins. I'm going to go put these in the freezer or the refrigerator one because they need some cold stratification here. I had some seedlings come up my first year of my potager. 
seedlings came up nice and big and strong and I've planted them out in the circle bed actually in the circle bed and I don't know what happened them suckers died anyway short story they died because that yellow is gorgeous you know I love yellow I love yellow roses yellow flowers oh thank you hey thank you thank you wonderful omg I'm gonna need another seed case to one of, one of those photo box cases for all of these seeds I've gotten this year. It's, let me stop. Sounds like I'm bragging, I'm not. Very thankful. Um, this next one. From my bestie, Rochelle, over at Branch and Gardner. Which y'all need to be following. If you're following me, you have to be following my bestie, Brampton. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. <gasps> no way, what is this? Okay, so Brampton is a elite, elite seamstress, tailor, if you will. She can sew like nobody's business, okay? She makes her own clothes, her daughter's clothes, purses, bags, pajamas, robes, dresses, pants workout stuff, bathing suits. She can do it. And it looks amazing. Anyway, I go, oh, homemade thing, oh, Michelle. This is like my favorite thing ever. Is it like a pot holder or a coaster? I bet there's a note that tells me what it is, but I'm gonna tell you that's beautiful. That's just beautiful, thank you, thank you. I love it. I love it. Okay. Seats. And more. Wait, but wait, there's more than just seeds. Hold, please. Hold, please. What is this? <gasps> she made me some stickers with her Cricut. Oh my gosh, thank you. <gasps> she made my name. And I can put it on something that's mine. There's my name again. And the rose. Okay, so the rose has a place where I can fit my name. Another rose with a smaller, I bet I put my name right in there. Y'all have the prettiest cards ever. Look how pretty this card is. I need to order new cards. That's gorgeous. Little hibiscus. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. That's pretty funny. <laughs> So dear Nicole, thank you for bringing a friend. LOL. Truly, I value our friendship so much. Your support and endless memes <laughs> made this YouTube journey so much more fun and exciting. Here's to a fabulous season. Love always your BFF in Canada, Rochelle. Aww, Let's see you. what goodies we have right here. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is so Canadian, eh? Look, it's got the little leaf on there, eh? Look at that. I know. This is a pepper, a red bell pepper. I don't have a red bell pepper, so thank you. Thank you very much. <gasps> habanero mix. Habanero mix. We have Chiro Roxa. What is Chiro Roxa? Is that a pepper? That sounds like a pepper. That sounds like a pepper I've heard of. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm gonna look it up, but cayenne, these are all peppers. Yeah, I think I asked you to surprise me with a, an assortment of peppers now that I'm uh, in menopause. I'm telling you, mm -mm, mm -mm. like I'm in it now. I haven't had my cycle all year, I know that's TMI. Okay, all year, we're in it, we're in it. Okay, we're three months in. We'll see how it goes. Anyone wants too much information, I don't care. Okay, I'll share everything with y'all. Jasper Millet. That's pretty cool. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that, but I'm going to grow it. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, ooh, tickled pink climbing petunia. <laughs> That's getting started right now. I need more flowers, okay? 
I went to Home Depot today with my husband. He had to pick up some lumber. He had to take my car back to the shop. Picked it up yesterday. $1,400 later. Picked it up yesterday. It drove home fine. I had to work this morning. As soon as I sped up, like it fine through the neighborhood, through the little feeder roads. I get ready to go up on the ramp to the highway, you know, pedal to the metal. Check engine line. Blinking, flashing little car on a bumpy road and then a little speedometer thing just blah 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 i'm like mm -mm. i went back home and i waited till eight o'clock and i called them and they're like oh just bring it in it'll be fine i'm like i don't want to drive it i'm scared they're like no no what's it doing again no you should be fine just... anyways my husband followed me in to drop it off again and then we stopped at home depot on the way back because you know he's got to get more stuff for these well, I just, anyway, um, I looked at their annuals. I'm like, well, while we're here, I'm just look at the, these plants. They want like six ninety eight, seven ninety eight, eight ninety eight, nine ninety eight for freaking annuals. I'm like, mm -mm. and they're just like a duh, duh. you know, they're not four inch pots or maybe like quart size pots. But I'm like, no, uh, I'm not spending with tax almost ten dollars for something that's probably gonna die. Thank you for the petunia seeds is what I'm trying to say. Because I'm just going to grow my own annuals. Ooh. Chocolate. Choc Taz Tom. I'm thinking that's chocolate Tasmanian tomato. I think so. Ooh. White hearty hibiscus. <laughs> Speaking of growing my own plants. Thank you for the hibiscus. Freaking grow that. Ooh. Turkish eggplant. That's going to be fun. Is that that little red one, isn't it? I think you grew a red one. But you're supposed to pick it before it turns red, I think, in your video last year. Anyway, I'll look it up. Mortgage Lifter, thank you. I, don't, I may have tried growing one years ago, but I've never gotten a fruit. So that's amazing. Next year. Well. Ooh, Zabrina Malva. Zabrina Malva. That's like a, oh, I've seen it. I have seen it in the Baker Creek catalog. I think it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Thank you. Speaking of growing my own flowers, thank you. Ooh, hot red cherry peppers. Thank you. Yes. Lavater, Lavater. Oh, Lavater Twins Hot Pink Rose Mallow. I'm going to try Rose Mallow again. I think I have better soil this year, and I also know... That it <laughs> needs to stay moist here in Texas. So, thank you. I'm going to try again with the rose mallow. And the, the seeds want to come out. Look. Look. Those seeds in the mail already planned their escape route. And I know they escaped last time you sent me rose mallow. I'm going to watch those. Amaranthus Early Splendor. <gasps> thank you. And then Amaranthus Tricolor Perfecta. Mm -hmm. So much color. <gasps> Zinnia Zahara Starlight Rose. Was I not just going off on a rant about growing my own flowers? Thank you. Yes. And then a Cardoon. <gasps> Cardoon Sonara. Now this Cardoon, these are um, like a relative of... Um, artichokes so they have the big you know prehistoric like dinosaur looking plant but it's not an artichoke it's a cardoon and i love your washi tape all right guys that's it oh no i have plants so um when i got back from the picking up my car yesterday before the debacle today yesterday on my way home, I stopped at my friend Wendy's because she had some plants for me. So this here is some cuttings of Peggy Martin Rose. And Peggy Martin Rose has a very cool story. I was going to see there's some old bloom or would have been blooms if it hadn't have been cut right there. Peggy Martin is a rose that was discovered after Hurricane Katrina because it had survived in this lady's yard, Peggy Martin under the brackish salty seawater 
for what, however many days New Orleans was underwater, like ridiculous amount of time, this rose survived. And people have been propagating it ever since, what, 2005, I guess, was Hurricane Katrina? Um, and so it's kind of has a little bit of fame to it, famous uh, story. And it's a beautiful rose that has uh, one, it's a climbing rose and it'll have one flush of pink blooms. So now that I have cuttings, I am going to propagate as many as I can get out of here and root those. And then I can line the my front uh, fence of my property where we have the split rail, you know. Um, um, I would love to climb the Peggy Martin. Um, and also, she gave me a mulberry. Look at that little mulberry cutting package really nicely. I know it's nice. So another fruit tree, mulberry. So we will plant this probably away from the house. <laughs> I don't want the birds crapping it onto my car. All these mulberries. Anyway. But that's fun. You make mulberry jam, mulberry. I can probably make mulberry wine. That sounds good. Anyway. All right, guys. Um, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Bella's snoring again. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.